2018 promises to be yet another exciting year for Dubai airports. And already we are more than halfway through yet another fantastic year. We started off with a great accolade from no less than His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. Last year, we started on this new journey to introduce new and innovative service initiatives. One of those innovations is an interactive digital display recently added to Concourse A by our partners at Dubai Tourism. It's called the My Dubai Experience and gives our customers a chance to enjoy a virtual glimpse of Dubai when they're traveling through our airports. We recently announced a partnership with SeaTrip, China's largest tour operator. It's a very important step on our journey to become more China friendly. At the start of the year, we also entered into a strategic partnership with the publishers ITP to launch our own special edition of the globally famous Time Out. Called Time Out DXB, this is a monthly magazine filled with all sorts of specific recommendations, news and offers. In March, we had the happy opportunity to celebrate the International Day of Happiness in partnership with the wonderful boys and girls from Dubai's Rashid Hospital for Children. In June, we were thrilled to be able to announce a 1.5 million dirham contribution to Dubai Cares, which is an organization that supports children's education in areas affected by conflict or natural disaster. We're working more closely with our service partners by introducing new ways of speeding through the airport, making sure our customers can have a more relaxing journey. One of the most important things we've done this year is open our new operations control center. This is a state-of-the-art facility and gives us an opportunity to work closely with everyone across the entire airport community using 90 different data systems to make timely, effective and speedy decisions to support our customer service. And of course, we're continuing to invest in the sharp end of our business. We announced in July the intent to purchase 22 fantastic new state-of-the-art Panther 8x8 fire trucks, which are a very impressive addition to our fleet. On of our two runways, one of them needs a total refurbishment. During a 45-day period starting in April 2019, we're closing the runway for a full redevelopment programme. During this period, we're working closely with our airline partners to manage the frequency reductions that will be necessary because we'll be operating on one runway at DXB. We've worked closely with them to reduce the number of flights and also transfer some of those operations to Dubai World Central. Dubai World Central is in the final stages of an ambitious expansion program, which will see its capacity boosted to handle 26 million passengers a year. The new facilities are very impressive. There are 24 new boarding gates, seven new baggage reclaim carousels, and an increase to 104 check-in desks. One of the most exciting developments is the new partnership between Fly Dubai and Emirates, which will see passengers be able to transit smoothly between flights operated by both airlines. Recently, Fly Dubai has announced its intention to move 10 of its operations from Terminal 2 to Terminal 3. This is intended to produce effortless connections between Fly Dubai and Emirates so that customers can move between flights operated by both airlines with great efficiency and speed. We've been working very closely with Fly Dubai and Emirates to make sure that the number of connection opportunities across the networks of both airlines give customers the opportunity to connect more and more of the world's greatest cities through DXB. And this is just the beginning. The revenue at Dubai airports originates from two different streams. We are amongst the most competitive airports in the world in terms of our aeronautical charging. And also, there is non-aeronautical revenue which comes from the partnerships we have with all the many retail and dining concessionaires who use our facilities throughout our airports. Currently, we've got over 140 airlines serving our airports and we recognize that their efforts to improve service are as important to them as they are to us, with an annual Airline Excellence Award ceremony which we held in April this year. 
By the end of the year, we will have introduced more and more outlets to broaden the experience available to our customers and most importantly, bring in the revenue that's necessary to maintain the successful development of our airport. Yet again, this has been an amazing year for Dubai Airports and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of our employees who have worked so hard to make sure that Dubai Airport, the world's number one international airport, stays right at the top. We have a lot to do and there are many challenges ahead, but I am more confident than ever that we have the right people, the right processes and the right technology to maintain and continue our successful journey.